The basement watchdog backup sump pump system includes a controller with a battery fluid sensor and a dual float switch, a pump with a one and one half inch PVC pipe adapter, a plastic wire tie for mounting the float switch, a charger, a battery box, and a battery cap with a hole to insert the fluid sensor rod. To complete the installations, you'll also need to purchase a basement watchdog battery, an acid pack, two check valves, a Y connector, a 45 degree elbow, one and one half inch PVC pipe, PVC primer, and cement. While the installation is easy, be sure to read all the instructions and warnings in the manual before you begin. Keep a bucket handy in case you need to empty water from the sump pit while you're installing the pump. You'll be building a pipe connection from the backup pump to the discharge pipe of the primary pump. Be sure to dry fit the pieces together before you glue them so that you can make any adjustments if necessary. The pipes from the backup pump and the primary pump should be parallel so that the pumps sit flat on the bottom of the sump pit. Unplug the primary pump and cut the discharge pipe about one foot above the floor. Install a check valve on the top of the discharge pipe and tighten the bottom hose clamp. Make sure the arrow on the check valve is pointing up or it will not prevent the backflow of water. Cut a piece of pipe that reaches from the bottom of the sump pit to about one foot above the floor. Glue the adapter onto that pipe and then screw it into the backup pump. Drill a 1 8 inch hole in the pipe above the backup pump. It should be drilled at a 45 degree angle toward the bottom of the sump to avoid water splashing outside the sump pit. If a 1 8 inch hole is not drilled in the pipe above the pump, an airlock may prevent the pump from working. Lower the pump with a PVC pipe attachment to the bottom of the sump floor next to the main AC pump. The pumps should not touch each other. Next, attach the Y connector like this. Then attach PVC pipe that will go to the main pump. And then attach the additional PVC pipe and 45 degree elbow that go to the backup pump. The pipes are the correct length when the discharge pipes on both pumps are parallel and both pumps rest on the floor of the sump pit. Once the assembly is correct, take the pieces apart, prime and cement all the connections, and tighten the hose clamps on the check valves. See the video segment on cutting and gluing pipe if you're not familiar with the process. Fill the battery according to the directions in the manual, or view the video segment for a demonstration. Now that the piping is complete, you can connect the backup system. The bottom of the float switch should be positioned about six inches above the water line in the sump pit. Attach the float switch very securely to the discharge pipe with a wire tie. Turn it away from the side of the pit where the drain tile empties into the sump so it will not be splashed by the water. Remove the security tag from the backup pump and plug the pump into the back of the control unit. Remove the wing nuts from the battery and connect the battery wires to the battery terminals. The black wire to the negative post and then the red wire to the positive post. Replace the wing nuts and tighten them. Install the battery fluid sensor by removing the black battery cap that is second from the positive post of the battery and replacing it with a yellow cap provided in the basement watchdog package. Insert the fluid sensor into the hole that is off center in the yellow battery cap. Press it firmly into the cap all the way up to the connector. Do not bend the sensor rod. Immediately plug the charger into the charger jack on the back of the control unit, then into an AC outlet on the wall. If the pump alarm is sounding, press the yellow button on the front of the control panel to reset the alarm. Secure the cover on the battery box, and be sure to plug in the main AC pump. For a neater installation, secure the cables to the discharge pipes in a couple places. Make sure the wires are not touching each other or overlapping. The installation is now complete.